only on Fox 6, body camera of Cordo Halsey's arrest is played in court today at his homicide trial. Halsey is charged in the shooting death of a Milwaukee transgender woman. Christina Benzels is live with what arresting officers said on the stand today. Christina. Ted, today was all about the state's witnesses. We heard from several law enforcement officers who were there during Housie's arrest back in February of 2023. And we also heard from two people who say Housie showed them a video of that woman after she was killed. I popped her. He said he popped the trans. Yep. Prosecutors say Cordell Housie shot and killed a transgender woman, Cache Henderson, and then set her apartment on fire in February 2023. He came into my room and he laid um, gun paraphernalia on my bed. Thursday, prosecutors had a long list of witnesses testify, including a woman who used to live with Halsey. She says he showed her a video and was in a manic state. He did show me a video of a girl, a transgender girl, black, laying on her side on the floor. And he was just like rambling on. Another witness, Paris Santiago, says Housie showed him that same video. It was a lady laying on the floor, a little blanket. It's like powder pour everywhere. Then you can see like the head had, had like a few bullet shot wounds to it. Then like the snake tank. Santiago says Housie then followed it by saying he, quote, caught a body and. Disgusting body. And then he was like, he got that training. The state also called multiple law enforcement officers from Nina and Menasha. Body camera from Menasha police officer shows moments leading up to Housie's arrest in the Fox Valley. Get on the ground! Menasha police, stop! Officer Derek Rada says Housie showed a gun, dropped it, and then he was tased. At one point, I did yell, Menasha police, stop, um, and that did not carry any effect to the suspect. Milwaukee County Assistant District Attorney Grant Hubner showed that gun to the jury, along with Housie's clothes that prosecutors say he was seen it when leaving Henderson's apartment. The state will continue its case tomorrow, where we're expected to hear from at least three to four more witnesses, and then the defense will start their case. Reporting live inside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News.